Today we're going to go out and do a preventative maintenance on a residential home. There are two systems at this property and it's down in the Chula Vista area. So we're going to go down there and uh, Marco is going to be with me. He's going to be doing most of the work and I'll just be uh, behind the camera showing you what needs to be done. This will help you understand what's all involved with preventative maintenance when you call precision temperature. So uh, let's get going. <music> So here we are. We met the homeowner at the door and she welcomed us in and showed us to the first of the two systems that operate the house. Now this particular furnace is located upstairs in the closet space. Furnaces can be in many different locations. Yours might be in your garage or in an attic space. This one happens to be in a closet. First off, Marco is going to check the outside of the system to make sure everything looks good. Then he's going to remove the faceplate so that he can get at the insides to make sure all the parts are moving and working the way that they are supposed to. After that, he'll be removing the furnace filter and replacing it with a new one. Replacing a furnace filter is actually one of the easiest things that you can do at home to make sure that your furnace stays running efficiently. Furnace filters should be changed once every 90 days or so while the system is in operation. The homeowner in this particular instance told us that they didn't even know that there was a furnace filter, so it was pretty filthy whenever we found it. Marco's going to continue on uh, with the inspection and then afterwards he'll tell us uh, what he did. Alright, so we started by uh, unplugging the power and uh, making sure the switch is working. Uh, we checked the capacitor for the proper microfarad reading. We checked the indoor blower amp drop, which was good. Capacitor was good. Uh, we replaced the filter. Uh, the old one was pretty dirty. On our first visit, we uh, installed a cut to size filter and then we know whatever size we need and have it for the second visit. So now that Marco is done checking the internal components, he's going to turn the system on. He's going to first check the inducer drive motor to make sure that it's running, as well as the indoor blower. After that, if you keep looking, you'll see the igniter come on and the flames will start up from the burners. What we see here are pure blue flames, which is exactly what we want to see. If you take a look at your furnace, you want to be looking for those blue flames. If you see some yellow in there, uh, along with the blue, what that means is that the burners are likely dirty or that there might be something wrong with your system. and we are checking the furnace up here. Uh, Marco just had to go run down to get a new capacitor. So he's checking all the same things that we did in the other unit. Uh, he's checking the electrical, he's checking capacitor, he's checking the, the blower, he's checking all that sort of stuff. And um, he found a bad capacitor, so he wanted to switch it out and do all the tests with a new one uh, to make sure everything's working properly. The rest of the system uh, isn't going to be at fault because of a faulty capacitor. Uh, so just waiting for him to come back up here. Uh, something to remember with attics uh, is if you know where your furnace is, make sure the crawl space, the access to the crawl space is free and clear. We found another crawl space in a different side of the house that had a dresser under it. And we thought that's where we had to go up, um, but instead it was in a different part of the house, which is thankful um, because, you know, if there's something under it, then we have to move it out of the way. But, okay, Marco is coming back up here. So we're going to switch out that capacitor.
Now that Marco has completed the two indoor furnaces, we're going to take a look at the outdoor AC units. He's going to do the same things he did with the furnaces. He's going to check the capacitor as well as the amp draw, and then he's going to clean the coils, which is equivalent to changing out the furnace filter. The first thing that we need to do when working with an air conditioner is remove the power supply. We call this the disconnect. We pull the plug out of it, and now no power is going to the system. So what you're seeing here is your air conditioner condenser coil. As you can see, it's pretty filthy, so it needs a really good clean. We're going to be cleaning it with the Renews Coil Cleaner. It needs to be diluted, so Mark was going to go add some water to the solution. Now he's going to spray it down from top to bottom so that all the dirt runs down. This Renews Coil Cleaner is a foaming cleaner, so as you watch, it'll start to develop some white bubbles. You can clean your condenser coil at home just like you change your furnace filter. In order to do that, you should get a coil cleaner that foams, and then you just hose it down with the regular water hose to rinse it out. So we just discovered a problem. Uh, we've got our hose over here for spraying the condenser coil, and it doesn't reach that far. It is an extendable hose, but it still doesn't reach. Uh, and the hose over here uh, doesn't have a connector. So we found this other hose, but there's no water going to that one. So we're just gonna switch things around here a little bit uh, just to, to make this work. Okay, so now we're spraying the inside. So we, so the blower is pulling in all the dirt yep. when it's running. So the proper way to get all the dirt out of the coil is to push it back out again. Yep. Or else you're only going to get the exterior part. Take a look at the dirt and the grime on the ground here. This came directly out of your condenser. Regular cleanings like this will help keep your system running more efficiently and will save you money in the long run. You can spray it down yourself, but you should have a professional clean it at least once every year. So now we're going to clean the casing as well. The last thing Marco is going to do is reassemble everything, and then he's going to get started on the other system. So that was a preventative maintenance, and you saw two units, two furnaces, two air conditioners, and uh, obviously the two air conditioning units are outside. The two furnaces, one was in a closet space in the upstairs, another was in an attic. What we do is we test all the electrical components, make sure everything's running properly, make sure all the parts are working, and then we're going to clean your system. So you saw one condenser that was really dirty, had to be taken apart to be cleaned properly. The other one, not so much, because it's uh, for, first off, it was tucked in a back corner of the space, but also because it's used less often. So that controls a half of the house that uh, isn't occupied all that frequently, so they don't run the system as often, which means the blower is not going to be active and it's not going to be pulling in as much dirt. Uh, as it normally would. So that's why the filter on the one furnace was also a little cleaner. It hadn't gotten used nearly as much as uh, the other furnace had. So that's the conclusion of preventative maintenance. So Marco's just gonna keep uh, finishing up and we're gonna say, see you later.